Okay, IBM Bluemix. We're gonna log in. Now, uh, it's gonna be expected that you're already gonna have your IBM ID. I'm taking this as a class at Clemson. CPSC 399. Nope. I sped up some of the loading so it doesn't have to wait as long. It took about 20 minutes. This video, as you can see, is going to be 10. I'm going to create a web app right at the very top. Python. Continue. Give it a name. We're going to call this Live 101. You're going to want to install the command line interface. I'm going to probably make another video detailing how to uh, set that up in Ubuntu and Linux. It's quick, easy setup. Select it, Live 101. What we're going to want to do is go to Catalog. We're going to have to bind two things. We're going to bind CloudAnt. down their data and analytics. Here's some details. You have 10 days left on your blue mix. I have to figure this out. Maybe I can borrow Clemson's credit card. Okay, select your app and use. Go ahead, restage. It's perfectly fine that the app is not running. So what we're gonna do is go back to catalog. And now what we're going to grab is the internet of things. Again. It's going to be it towards the bottom. And there it is, IBM Internet of Things. It's going to be the exact same process as Cloud Ant. Once it loads, change the app to the name that you want to use that you just created. And use. Go ahead, restage again. There's probably a way that you can do them both at once. I haven't uh, really experimented. I just do it as it goes. So what we're going to do here, we're going to uh, create a new folder. It's going to be an empty folder right there on the uh, user space. And we're going to open terminal. And we're going to change directory. I made this little uh, helper sheet so I can just copy and paste and I don't have to watch me type. So we're going to uh, API from Bluemix. Again, this is where the CF CLI would come into place. This needs to be installed before you do this. I'll make another video. Alright, change directories. To go into that directory we just got from the repository. So now we're in that directory and now we're going to now we're gonna push. You're gonna to want to use that CF Linux FS2 for your project name. That's gonna be necessary. Okay, so when you click it, you get a little JavaScript P 
page. Thanks for creating it. Wonderful. Thank you for having me. So this is going to take some. Uh, it takes some time to push. There's services, there's applications. I have three right now. They each are going to be a unique name. So host 001 is going to be mine for now. And I don't know if you delete it, if you can, uh, if anybody else can ever use it again. You're going to want to save here for your build path. Okay, let's take a look at the overview here. Here's our build pack. Thousand logs. Search. There's so much to learn. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It really is. But it's a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. The Internet of Things is fascinating. It's the be it's the beginning of the end, really. But it is fascinating right now. Just the communication between devices and yeah, collective information gathering. It's it's incredible. and click on that link before and it's not going to have that JavaScript anymore. That's gone. Now what we have is our live screen. So we're going to give it a name, give it, give the device a name. So it's going to be a four digit code. 